Now we'll turn our attention to modifying a synchronous model. We can see this part is still built up using features, but they form a collection rather than a history tree and are not dependent on each other. Selecting any face or set of faces will reveal the steering wheel. The steering wheel gives us complete control over how we edit or manipulate our selection. As you can see, selecting the major axis results in us being able to move the face in that direction. Moving on and selecting the hole, we can see it is possible to pick the minor axis to perform a similar move. If necessary, the minor axis can be repositioned by using one of the points around the steering wheel in order to move the hole left or right. Selecting the plane will allow a freeform move as shown. The key thing here is that since there is no history to recompute, the changes happen quickly and efficiently. Repositioning the steering wheel to the centre of the part will allow an easy rotation about that centre point. Focusing on the cone shaped surface, once again repositioning the steering wheel onto any face gives, gives us the movement vector we require. A simple drag will move the cone up or down as desired. Selecting the top face of one of the arms allows us to increase or decrease the height of the arms. It is possible to reposition the steering wheel onto any face, edge or key point on the model, giving you the freedom to edit the part any way you like. Since these arms were patterned, we can change any one of them and the others will update instantly. Again, this is due to the fact that there is no history to recompute. Finally, let's rotate and move some more faces. Again, the steering wheel can be positioned in order to allow this to happen. Solid Edge with synchronous technology is allowing us to change our model as quickly as we change online.